and look at this shit. So I know it's all like Legos and stuff. Look at what Cole's put. A thousand five hundred dollars on some fucking Lego blocks? What y'all been smoking? Y'all been smoking crack? Damn, y'all fucking crazy. And yet I thought my expenses were bad. Jesus fucking Christ. I sure hope that's a typo and you guys really didn't mean a thousand dollars for some Lego blocks. That's like a freaking scalper asking about an Xbox series, dude. I hope that's a fucking typo. Fifteen hundred dollars for some Legos. Are you fucking out of your mind? That's like a whole car payment, bro. That's like half the price of a used automobile on Craigslist, bro. So we're inside one of the 500 Macy's locations that has a Toys R Us present. And I know what you're already thinking. Somebody's gonna call me a fucking man child. And you know what? You know what I gotta say about you, bitch? That's what I gotta say. Jerk it off and fuck it off. Why does most of the shit at Macy's look like a ripoff of something? Doesn't that look like a ripoff of Dino Train from PBS Kids? Not to mention the branding name that they used, My Little Kids. That sounds kind of like a fucking EDP 445 Ezra Miller type deal, don't you think? Sometimes it feels good to come back and see an old friend, dude. Imagine in a world where all those bankrupted companies and companies that left America ended up coming back. Like, we're talking like Sears and Kmart make a return. Hastings finds their way into like new ownership. Borders, if anybody remembers that old bookstore. Can you imagine a pinnacle where that happens? I guarantee you there's probably like a, a billionaire somewhere who's like, hmm, you know where, where we're missing right now? We're missing a Kmart with a Kmart cafe with an icy machine. Imagine that. Imagine a world like that. I mean, the interesting thing about the people who bought out Toys R Us and brought back the bankrupted company is they brought back the iconic stuff, man. They brought back Jeffrey and the name brand stuff that they used to produce. By the way, if you owners at Toys R Us are listening, that location over by Cottonwood Mall is still available for lease. Um, it's been available for lease ever since you guys or the old owners basically shut their doors back in 2017-18 that building is still available for sale if you're looking to expand i mean like literally look at this they brought back all their name brand stuff too not only did they bring back their name brand stuff but they also brought back some newer stuff with them too what do you do It makes noises when you touch his little feet. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, it's so fluffy. And it's by the same people that produce everything else. Nice. It's so fluffy. It's like rubbing a kitty. I mean, should I go test my luck? I mean, uh... We're already going to be having a whole, like, VIP experience with a lot of Netflix celebrities. Eh, we should probably do it. And just to think that one of those VIP events is going to take place in a place like this. Can you imagine going bowling with a bunch of fucking Netflix celebrities? Unfortunately, from what I'm told, there's no photography or videography in the VIP areas. So, unfortunately, when I say that I went bowling with a couple of Canadians, it's pretty much going to be a story to tell. Oh, no fucking way. Oh, no fucking way.